Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another one. Then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork not the trail to the left. Thanks for the assist. 
Good luck on your mission. You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. Equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Где она? Вот так. Осторожно. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently.
path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. You mentioned crossing a bridge near the village. I'm going to somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. stored up a warning nest. Need chopper support, Ace! Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe our doses was too high.
Don't stop, Bell. Fuck, fuck. Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. at the bunker. Allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. hit by napalm, you'd find a hidden bunker door. Go check it out, Bell! I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Sims, give Bell another injection. You sure? Do it now. Bell's heart rate is already at a dangerous. Shit. Someone help pull Bell down. Hey, 
Hang in there, Bell. You got this. I think we're in the clear. Bell, go through the door. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around. Forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume. survive another round. I have no idea. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next time. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, 
You'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. You worked for Perseus, Bell. I know it's hard to believe, but Arash Kadavar 86 to you at that airfield in Turkey. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Duba. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. <laughs> there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. In the end, no specific background really stuck with you. You resisted everything we tried, so we just kept it a mystery. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were a guinea pig for the CIA's MK Ultra program. They used me and Adler's missions in Vietnam to create new memories. Nothing brings people together like wartime. Instant family. Brothers in arms. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got a job to do. Come on, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. 
It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenlight Arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air.
enemy AA guns on the west wing. We're on it, Adler. Adler, this is Hudson. Have you cleared the AA guns? We need to launch these bombers. We got one AA cleared. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Contact! I'm moving! in the launch. That's a big gamble if that gun ain't cleared. Spot you. Hudson, start your bombing run. Copy that. Get your team out of there, Adler. Those bombers won't have a chance if we don't clear that last AA gun. You better hurry the fuck up. Strike imminent. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. 
After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover the remains of Agents Azale and Park from the compound in Cuba. Their caskets are in transit to Tel Aviv and London, respectively. President Reagan personally reached out to their families. We spoke in MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell? Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me. It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 